Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. As ever, a very busy week at the NFU. Vice President Tom Bradshaw hosted a very large webinar this week looking at the future of the Agricultural Transition Plan. He was joined by our very own Richard Wordsworth, of course known to many of you. Um, but also by Claire Robinson and Andrew Clark. And the timing couldn't have been better, it really couldn't, because of course it was on the same day that DEFRA announced their Sustainable Farming Initiative pilot. So perfect timing, still uh, I think a worrying amount of, of detail that is missing, um, but it's really important that we engage with this pilot. It is going to be enormously instrumental in the future. And I think in a meeting I have with Paul Caldwell, uh, the chief exec of the Royal Payments Agency this week, the point that I was making to Paul is it absolutely vital that we are piloting delivery as well as looking at the policy. Of course, many of you will remember the scars from the past with government IT systems that have you know, continually failed to deliver. So we absolutely have to get this right. It is critical um, that DEFRA makes sure that the delivery mechanism is fit for purpose as well. <clears throat> Many of you will know that it is British Science Week and a, a lot of our uh, education work has been focused on linking agriculture with STEM learning and it's been incredibly successful through competitions like Farmvention. So in this British Science Week we've been able to reach uh, over 200,000 pupils, quite an astonishing figure. So engaging with 2,000 schools, mostly across England and Wales, but just a few of them across the world uh, as well. So this has been a massive success and we've been able to take farming into the classroom. So a lot of lambing uh, and in this virtual world that we're all, I think, getting much better at operating to be able to link up with these schools and really show them what is happening on farm. Feedback has been incredibly positive, uh, not just, I have to say, from the school children, but from teachers as well. So a really important piece of work led by our fantastic duo of Josh and Jenny, who themselves are ex-teachers. And of course, that way can really, really relate to the teachers out there, which is so incredibly important. It's not just about influencing the children, just as important to help work with the teachers and influence their thinking and of course what they are teaching in school as well. Many more things that I could touch on. I had a lot of messages on Monday and indeed was part of the East Midlands event on International Women's Day. Um, the point I always make is it's not just about women, it's about men and women and our sector probably doing more than any other to show that actually these are family run businesses and often uh, both with the man and the woman at the helm. So I think all the women out there not ever wanting to be singled out as different, but it's a, a celebration and a really positive one too. And there were indeed many men and women on the East Midlands event and it was enormously successful and hearing some really inspirational uh, stories and chaired by the fantastic farmer that is Sarah Bell in that region. So that was a great event. So a whirlwind trip through my week. Also um, had a TB test here uh, at home, which just always brings it back to me how much this is about sort of rolling dice effectively and, and down to luck of, of location as to where we live in the country. Hideous disease and our commitment as a union remains as strong as ever to eradicate this disease and get on top of it. So I will leave it there and wish you well and please stay healthy and look after yourselves. And I really look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thanks so much.